we should go to another country now. It seems like I, I've kind of been through this. <laughs> We've got this we have, we, we can gotta try. use our air miles. <laughs> Clearly, I need to get on. Yes, more airplanes. That's what we need in this era <laughs> yes. of history. First, we have to get in the car and then get on the airplane again. <laughs> I feel like it would take so much longer on these planes, too, back then. Someone could use like the rag. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go to Iceland again? I swear we're gonna go there and be like, oh, nothing's changed. <laughs> so Let's go back. <laughs> hey, do you need this rag? No. All right. See ya. <laughs> Can you look at that kerosene? Again. Oh. <sighs> okay, right. There's a kerosene <laughs> lamp yes, here. But the only one we can interact with is the one that we have to buy. <laughs> Which is on the literally the other side of the planet, just, just about. Just walk into the fucking mountains, Jones. Just just, just tell him like it's your cover jar and like sp splash it on him and he'll get the fuck out of here. You're right. <laughs> you need to like clear someone out of any room. <laughs> yeah. That's like the secret to solving all of these puzzles. <laughs> just scare people away with it. It's a very, like, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, <laughs> sort of like, yeah, this is how I solve all my own personal problems. It's basically a primitive act of dominance. Reminds me of, like, Elliot Roger just throwing coffee, running up to people and throwing coffee on them. Like, you would see a couple and, like, right. yeah, well, coffee, I'm gonna throw coffee on you and run away. Masculinity. Yes. He, you know, Elliot Roger and Indiana Jones, right? There's a certain like. Um, we're gonna we're gonna build something off that bullshit. I don't It'll see why anyone mad. would need this, right? Right. That, I have nothing. So you're to gonna give, give to him. You. So you're gonna give him to the jar. <laughs> just sacrifice him for it. Give him to the jar. <laughs> and give the jar unto him. Um, I don't see any any like real puzzle mechanic here that. Can you no go back? Go back. I feel like at the very least, if you're gonna come here, you should get a bit of information. Can Sophia can, can you get look different at, things? Can from... you look at the eel thing? Then? Yeah. It's an eel figurine trapped in ice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should, you should touch it with this rag. I don't know, try it. <laughs> That's what you do at a dig site, right? You just... <laughs> yeah, that's... Indy is a not, not, totally not a fraud. He's totally... I don't think that will work. He's totally a... PhD dude. Always bring a dirty rag. Yeah. You need to have a dirty rag. <laughs> so that you can just touch everything. Um. It the <laughs> this game is amazing to play right now. <laughs> yeah, like, I hate it. Like, alright, back to the airport again. Let's just burn some more jet fuel. <laughs> because we have to keep going. <laughs> Skipping around these places to figure out these puzzles. Somebody needs my rag. Hey now, Sam and Max. We're driving all over the place. Yeah, they. <laughs> I mean, that game was also doing a sort of conscious. Yeah, right. So this. So, so right. This is like here's Sam, but he's not aware of anything at all. Yeah, clueless Sam, like <laughs> non-self-aware Sam. 
can, right, okay, we can talk to this. Max, person. Max is now this woman who's just gonna roast him all the time. I don't think this person would want uh, my jar of mayonnaise <laughs> or my dirty rag. You can say, hey, it's, I tell you, it's pretty good. <laughs> Give dirty rag to door. I know you're a horny dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I saw that. <laughs> I don't. Okay. But... I just ruined this game. <laughs> I just. Come on, let's go. I just need to get a Coca Cola. Well, no, could I? Could you bring me a Coca Cola? Yes, Thank and you. it won't be cold because no one put them in the fridge. here disappointed he doesn't get to like whiff more animals <laughs> right his preferred problem solving tool this bull whip <laughs> fucking monster those things hurt to go the other way when you oh. arrive here. That'd be hilarious. Could I have simply gone that right, way? Right, but... Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that would, would be, be pretty great. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Where now? Right well, now. Well, now. Oh, yeah, that's why we flew here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're investments. We forgot to invest. Right. These things are investment grade, right? Um, no thanks. I don't know. Like, what can I, do for you? I almost want to take over. Mm. Would you like me to take over? I'm going to run through all the options real real quick. Thanks. We just like a look around. Why not? Why not? Perhaps we'll decide to buy one of my precious mementos. <sighs> oh, I love that mountain back there. Damn it! How come I can whip a jungle rodent, but not this guy? Well, because it would be inhumane to use a whip on him. <laughs> every conversation by being like you need to do what I want now listen yeah that's his thing hmm. well time to take the plane again <laughs> just hop back in but like seriously what is this you guess it's me. <laughs> just carrying it on every airplane flight. <laughs> he doesn't know what liquid it is. <laughs> but somehow he's... Well, this is, you know, a time before, I guess, airplane security. I, I don't know. Right, he doesn't have to explain it to a border patrol agent. Well, I was thinking of right, he's also, like, extremely white, so, you know... They're like, oh, you're a white man and you're carrying a jar of mayonnaise. That's quite normal. Mm hmm. What's my here for? I just. 
just, I just feel like New York has got to, it's got to have something. Oh, that dither. Mm. Mm. I like, yeah, how simple the background buildings look. It is interesting. go ask Hawkwind how many virtues we've mastered so far. <laughs> huh? I don't. Don't. I, I seriously don't fucking remember. You can look it up if you want. Oh, coal. Coal, eh? Ah, damn it. That's me. Uh, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Well, would coal work? It's hot enough already. I don't want to incinerate that. What about the men? It is time to destroy this horrible <laughs> thing. This cursed object. I don't want to that. But you no do! No one must ever know! <laughs> right? <laughs> Actually, yeah, he regularly does this. Right. <laughs> like, who knows how many of these it's have gone in ritual. here? Part of ritual. These burnt, like, bottle remnants in the bottom of the furnace. Super disgusting. Multiple floors of this building are devoted to his research. <laughs> That'll just make a mess. Well... Oh, yeah, do it. I don't think that'll work. Come on. Hmm. Come on. What if we slather it with this gross, sticky motor oil first? I don't think that'll work. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it will. But it will. <laughs> it would be funny work. if his whip literally solved every situation. <laughs> right. <laughs> that'd be a hell of a puzzle game. I just... Oh, well, I don't know. Shit. I can't play adventure games anymore. Oh. I don't think that'll work. Can items be combined? Yes, yeah, sometimes, but none of these could be combined. I'm going to put a rag with mayonnaise on it. I don't think that will work. I tried. I tried. Just need to, like, inspect. Well, you know, it's not just us here. Here's Sophia. Sophia. Yes? What do we do? <laughs> We're stupid. Farewell to the ivory tower. Oh, she thinks fuck this place. Mm. But my office, which apparently has nothing useful in it. Just some old pots, says and the archaeologist. In a weird random trunk. Like Imagine, you know, you walk into, like, your here, supervising professor's pot. office yeah. for your thesis update, <laughs> and you're like, oh, you know, that's an interesting piece of pottery. Like, well, what's the story behind that one? Right. Oh, God, these are just some old pots. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's talk about archaeology. Um, sir, what about that glowing meteorite? <laughs> Are you sure that's safe? I don't know. But it's pretty. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. It was wasted. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got abducted <laughs> by aliens. <laughs> Is there something I can pick up from here? <laughs> Alright, oh. maybe we can like find somebody, like the phone number for someone who can help us with this yeah. rag. I'm like feeling pretty silly right now. 
feel like I played this game like twice. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Is there any way to return to like the cinema or something? No. You can look it up. I'm like sort of judging how I feel about this map. Oh, okay. I, feel I think it's like Africa is probably too small down there. Yeah, look at it. Like, right, right. Europe looks like. It's enormous. Giant, yeah. Well, this is like the world according to like Indiana Jones's perspective or something. I don't know. It's. Oh, we don't get to see where we are. Yeah. Boo. 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 Um, maybe we should look it up. Okay. I just, you know, I've never felt bad about traveling so much in a game before. <laughs> right. Indiana Jones is like accelerating climate change here. Single handedly. <laughs> One person takes 7,000 flights. <laughs> Just to fetch an old towel and a <laughs> jar of mysterious <laughs> liquid. <laughs> oh, this is... I don't know, I'm having a, I'm having a blast with this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just, yeah, like, so absurd. It's the particularly absurd that happens when you blend, like, a blockbuster movie with a point-and-click adventure game. Because this is this is an ultimate game, in fact, yes. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember it really had something to do with the bird, but I thought that we had exhausted the, uh, the talk options. This is why you have to go through every line, B. You have to go through every line. Damn it. It's the, it's the way. I'm a fool. I should have just going. mechanically clicked every crevice. Dude, that's what I do in these games, and it's because I let myself be led by a genuine curiosity about the results. I'd really like to explore the temple. That's the approach they do, or they need you to have. I don't know the title. You guys mm -hmm. mm. Lovely parrot. I do feel I do feel disappointed in myself for not having caught that because I knew it, the bird was gonna utter it. I will. Nice rhymes. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yes, I have come out already <laughs> for like the tenth time. About exploring the temple. Yeah. Listen, yeah. about the temple again. <laughs> oh, it's tempting. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Fuck. 
What a good bird. Yeah. Helping us out. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. See what you can do. Right. Are there deadly what? traps that he wants us to disarm for him? No, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you. Oh, God. He really is the worst, isn't he? <clears throat> Listen, Sternhart. Yes? What was the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt. Okay. Say there. Dude, like, what are you even yeah. doing here? You don't know? So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Alright, this guy is trying to play this adventure game. But he, he can't do it. He doesn't know how to collect items. Yeah, like... <laughs> We colonized this place, and like I got in here figuring I could figure out what it was, but I've literally learned nothing. I've just been standing around, preventing anyone else from coming in. It's a pretty sick burn towards these types. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it could use a nose. Oh, I guess I should give it a nose. Put a nose on it. As opposed to brows. Oh yeah. As opposed to birds. Put the nose hairs on it. Check out these spirals. The of water and life. Yeah, is that from like just right up off the top of your head? You know that. This looks different, more deeply etched. It's because he he has a lot of chi. Right. Yeah. I can mm. years of tarnish have it all gummed up. Whoa. Years of tarnish. <laughs> <laughs> what if I put mayonnaise on it? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it seems like we're so close. We just need to remove that somehow. But we have to put a nose on this thing. Oh, so it'll like spew water? Why would it spew water? I don't know what it'll do. Turn, open the door. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think it's like a lever that you're attaching to it. Well, okay, so do we actually have to clean this wall? I thought at some point you, you'd have to, like... Mm -hmm. Can I talk to you, Sophia? No. <laughs> Sophia, help! <laughs> Always using her to, like, distract these dudes. Did you talk to Sternhard and keep him occupied? Okay. I'm clearly hard at work I'm sure here. I'm like right. <laughs> I know Just that you're scratching his head at the walls. It's like I know that you're capable of doing all of this stuff, Sophia. But I want to do the stuff that's fun for me. Right. So can you just distract this guy and then probably have a shitty time doing it so that I can have fun with right. this wall puzzle? <laughs> And he's definitely a dick. He's very like a he's Hemingway, you know. Right. I once saw a biopic of Ernest <laughs> Hemingway, and the character depicted in that movie reminds me of this guy. Excuse me, won't you? What? Let's see what your friend is up to. Oh, no. I don't think that will work. <laughs> <laughs> What if I... Uh. Hmm. Actually, wait, I know what to do. Professor. No, I'm not, no. There's not much more yeah, you're right. Just yeah, stop. Yeah. Thank you. What if we just use the whip on it? Sophia, let's talk. What up? Please. Can you try and keep busy again? Again? <laughs> to win that. I've got another question for you, Doctor. Oh, that walk cycle, it's very phantasmagoria. Oh, 
interesting reference point. It's kind of very even and straight. It, it has this quality of maybe being rotoscoped even. I don't know. There we are. That's what I needed to do. <sighs> All that bother to get a kerosene lamp. Yep. Uh... <laughs> do we have to fly the lamp somewhere else? I. There's only one kerosene lamp in the whole world, but there's yeah, enough jet fuel. Oh, just call Sophia over. This is like in No Man's Sky, you know. We left the one yeah, magical awesome. doodad in the other system, so yeah. we have to do two faster than what light about? jumps. Yes. Let's keep looking. Fine. I'm enjoying this um, MIDI sounding uh -huh. sort of instrument work. Yeah, I love the music. Right. Is this what we would call world music? <laughs> I don't think. It's really. Yeah, the world of like. When I hear this stuff in video games, I never consider it world music, but like they That's are weird. sort of using these instruments of, you know, like if you listen to any soundtrack, what we call like music that's meant to like fit in a certain cultural environment as world music. Right. It's just like, of course, I note the instrumentation being used there would be reused in um, Pagan Ultimate mm -hmm. 8 a couple right. of years later, okay. a game which is not really trying for any oh. particular setting that I could tell, but it's almost like these were the part, part of the tonal palette that was available to the composers that were working in this medium, yeah. and it includes some of these sort of... Right. Yeah, I mean, in this case, it was very deliberately... Right, it's sort of a different place. thing. That doesn't seem really? But oh. That'll just make a mess. Excuse me. That doesn't seem to work. Excuse me. That doesn't seem to work. What the fuck <laughs> you just sit here to do again? I tried. I've traveled the world, <laughs> gathering these items. A lump of coal, a dirty rag, a jar of mayonnaise, and a lantern. <laughs> How many plane trips has he done already just to get these items? <laughs> right, if he needed certain items... Right, could he not just buy them? <laughs> it's too slippery to walk up. Better not spill the kerosene. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. <laughs> I 
went to New York for a few minutes, maybe a few seconds, <laughs> then I left. Oh, well, I heard that New York is over now, so... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss some news thing? Oh no, it was just a, a general, oh, New York is dead, it's so dead now. Right. <laughs> Yeah, pandemic related, I think. What about your mind? That was one of the hardest hit places. I think. Got frostbite the I'll say, save men my eyes. I mean, hardest hit for what? Uh, coronavirus. Oh, right. Oh, I don't really know how it's going now. Cool. I don't think that'll work. I don't know why I can't play this game right now. <laughs> just coal <laughs> goes in. It's in Minecraft. Oh. This would work, right? How do I? Can you help me solve this puzzle? Where did you say those pieces come from? Indy is just completely lost. I know. I'm just projecting my own stupidity upon him. What is this He's there waiting for me to do something. I already told you. Right. I'm a radio. I think. None of these people know anything. <laughs> yeah. Atlantean radio. We, he's assuming that Atlanteans had radio technology. Yeah, well, he believes in aliens. Everyone here is. Well, these two think that there's advanced tech. So like, okay, I know there's only three Indiana Jones films, yeah. and this is one of them, but yes. in the apocryphal texts, uh -huh. aren't there aliens? Um, I don't think there are aliens. Doesn't that happen in like that new one? Oh, Crystal the new Skull. one. Well, I don't know where that is in the chronology. But you know... It suggests that these characters are basically correct about yeah, their being. Yeah, oh, oh, absolutely. Like, this game goes... I mean, like, Indiana Jones is, a, you know, a series that clearly has supernatural elements. Right. But aliens... Looks like someone's still I living. guess they added that in the newest one. I didn't watch it. I feel so stupid right now, because... Look, what, here's something I did. I opened the lamp. Something you could do. You can't open the jar of mayonnaise because it, it in fact has no lid. I don't know what this brown thing is supposed to be, but like it's pretty questionable that he's walking around getting <laughs> on planes <laughs> with open this jar of something. Dairy product. <laughs> this is open jar. <laughs> like who knows how old it is, but it's been thawing for sure. <laughs> You don't understand. I, I might need this later because I was able to pick it up. Yes. <laughs> and the flight attendant is like, oh, okay. All right, who I guess you're Harrison with that? Ford, so off you go. Oh, God. I, I'm. S oh, hmm. I mean, what is the... What are we actually attempting to do? We need to get the lost dialogues of Plato. The guy at Azores, I believe, has access. Well, does he? Or maybe it's the guy in Mexico. Yes. Has access to a we, copy. We know its name now. Yes, Hermocrates. Um, there, we need to get a nose. For the statue yes. wall thing. Which well, I think that the spiral in the wall is is the nose that we have to right. detach. Okay. So we, we, we need to somehow detach it. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do we know what the guy in the Azores wants? 
was a miracle. Do we even know what he can provide us? He just wanted to flirt with... Right. Sophia here. Sophia, yes. A crunchy Mediterranean like Italy looking quite prominent. Oh here. Very boot like. Yeah. Man, I just like think of Europe as this like weird creature with like one leg. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, that's a pretty serious tale. Yeah, yeah. Alright. What would Brendan do? Because I just, you know, I opened the kerosene lamp. Let's see. If, if we that's were, what I if did. If we were the members of Vampire Weekend, we'd go to the Azores, I think. And order a horchata, and they'd be like, what the yes. fuck? That is not a thing we do here. Yeah. And then you'd be like, ah, or something. Yeah. Like you'd break into a chorus. Right. And That's then... the structure of the song. Right. Somebody tells him he can't get a fancy drink that he was expecting to get, and so and then he was like, and then a big, you know, choral swell. <laughs> yes. I didn't listen to much Vampire Weekend. We, we've spoken about it. I enjoy uh, oh. Modern Vampires of the City in particular. What do you want? Okay. Wait, what does he want to... Let's talk about you want to trade, dude? Okay, what you got? Oh, right, because you, you convinced him to talk to you. I'm offering this genuine American A boldly. <laughs> Not a chance, but what is Would you like my dick? This character correctly is like, why are you carrying a whip around? <laughs> right. It's this, weird. Yeah, this guy's like, there's a reason why I'm still halfway in my door. <laughs> Would you like this genuine all-American bullwhip? Would you like this genuine all-American gun? <laughs> I'm very willing to give it to you. We don't have anything to trade with him. Does he want our shitty magazine? <laughs> Mr. Costa? It's got a oh, picture yeah. of that oh, lady you want. like in it. Well, let's talk about a trade. You don't have anything worth trading for. Oh. Don't start with me. I hear you know something about Atlantis. Ah, wouldn't tell you if I did. <laughs> Come on, I'm a fellow believer. Is that right? You know where Atlantis is? Actually, I'm trying to find out. Hmm. Come closer, boy, and I'll tell you. You're standing on it. The Azores? No one believes me. That hurts. Don't say anything. talk to that guy more right we have to exhaust the, I always forget to exhaust all the dialogue <laughs> Mr. Costa you again what do you want <laughs> he's just harassing this man <laughs> yeah there I can use? yes and no now go away 
Don't start with me. <laughs> she, she's disgusted by his <laughs> harassing this man. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. seriously? You're going to just continually knock on this person's door? Let me get me something to screw This kind of reminds me of the Twin the Peaks thing. Oh, yeah. What do we do now? Let's move on. Do you mean it? Listen. Do you mean it like in a yes. hint way? Here, talk to him again. Okay. My necklace. Mr. Costa! Why, hello! Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that a pathetic attempt, Sophia. <laughs> yeah. Not quite the the con artist <laughs> as advertised. Excuse me. Yes. How are we gonna make it through this game? <laughs> I think you better take it. Just stuck at the first okay, few I'll things. Mm-hmm. I don't what? This inventory is ridiculous. How is it ridiculous? It's the same one as as uh, I just I just mean they like, have you the know. tentacle. Oh, in terms of like the shit he's carrying mm. around. Yes, I'm a university professor. The characters all want magical artifacts, but what we have are dirty rags and mayonnaise jars. It's an interesting sort of <laughs> conundrum. Right, how do we turn this into yeah. this? Like, is there going to be some moon logic puzzle involving this mayonnaise jar? Yes. I feel... yes. Come on, let's go. It's such a vague item, you know? Can we go to like, I don't know, France or something? Wait, like would it be possible to learn about a new place? I'm stuck. Wait, where's, where's the thing? Where's the thing? People are gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. I am baked. That's my excuse. Oh, as a, as am I, as are we both. Oh, that was that was the that was a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're oh man, you know there's a better a better hit site. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta go for. Uh, Okay, I forgot what the site was called, but... <laughs> Universal Hint System! That's what we need. Oh, right, there's many paths. Yep. That's kind of interesting. Uh-huh. Alright. It's not reading the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not reading the whole it's thing. Not reading. Use, use the kerosene lamp on the spiral design to eat away the turnip. Oh, right! Man! Hey, I solved those when I was a kid. I guess that's very, it's very archaeological of him, you know? Yeah, he's finally doing some archaeology. Just use kerosene on it. Here's Shut up, man. Don't even hold up there. I'm coming in Grab here. Any ideas yet? Fuck off. <laughs> so you go by lamp, eh? I hope you never talk to me. 
Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. It is eating away at the. Oh, it's destroyed. Wow. <laughs> now I got it. Mom! Wow, it's a cleaning product. <laughs> The standard for archaeologists, kerosene lamps. Anyway, it's time. He's very serious, sciencey man. It's time for me to actually play this game. <laughs> My God, he's done it! He's invented cleaning things with some kind of liquid detergent. All right, all right. This is notable. This is like some evidence of something afoot. Mm. It might be alien or Tower of Babel like. Is that elephant depiction in South America, Central America? Right, I was rather. wondering about that. Yeah. But of course, Indy, an archaeologist, doesn't think about the implications of this. Right, what are we taking for? Charles Darwin? <laughs> Give it to me. Give it, give it to me. Wait. Oh no, The dreaded walking click quickly away. In 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 a secret door, somehow this man has installed it in this temple that he doesn't know how to operate whatsoever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this set piece is particularly silly. Yeah. But, you know, I find this game is a purely silly pulp. Mm. And you must approach it like that. Alright, let's look at... Lorab Saul or whoever. <laughs> Got a shiny. He's got, he's, got a, he's got a shiny. Rob some graves. Oh yes. Give it to me. He missed the Oracle piece. What did he get? <laughs> I don't know. I assumed that was the world stone was the little bead, but no. No, he no, the, the world stone is something else. Okay. We're, so many MacGuffins. Yeah, you're going to soon use oh, them all on each other. Right? <laughs> I don't see how that could work. It's only polite. <clears throat> <laughs> hey. That's... Oh, right. Can I... Oh, the selfish prick. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give anything to Sophia here. I like how it's like, oh, a secret door. I have no idea what, how to operate the secret yeah, door. Yeah, we just have to leave here now on an airplane. <laughs> There's no way for me to get through this stone wall. I'm an archaeologist, by the way. Never in history has humanity figured out how to penetrate <laughs> a stone wall. Except that guy was like, I'm an archaeologist, I'm gonna just carve a door in this wall for me to use for my inevitable need to escape suddenly. I guess because Indy is just too ethical. He's like, well, I can't further touch this temple, you know? <laughs> I have to figure out how to get rid of this person without okay. destroying the temple. You might be wondering why I'm back here. Well, hopefully I'll show you why. Isn't this so fucked up? What? <laughs> I, what? Just, just imagine this is Twin Peaks. <laughs> right, it's switching to the other music. Hangal! <laughs> like, just weird things are gonna happen. Like, this archaeologist just freezes to death in place somehow here. <laughs> I didn't think, I'm getting a bit cold, I should leave the cave. 
He just freezes to death here. I mean, all of these men are so useless. That... It's true. Like we we don't we don't have to mourn for them. They're all pretty terrible. I seem to be feeling cold, but I'm not going to act on that yes, information I because so... I don't act on anything. Well, they only act on a relentless greed for these Atlantean artifacts. <laughs> right. I know? only care about Atlant. <laughs> I don't care about being too cold. I only care about Atlantean <laughs> artifacts. I'm starting to think this is a, a game about many addictions. A man who is addicted to books and several men who are addicted to Atlantean artifacts. Well, I guess Sophia counts as someone who is also obsessed with the shit. Alright, let's look at this guy who just... We knew him and he just died. <laughs> is this some type of curse? Like he became possessed by a spirit to like keep digging it, until that it might, killed him? That might be it. That's actually a pretty good theory. I I just love the fact that in the energy, it's like this man, he's he'd been speaking with, he, he'd seen alive, and upon finding this man's dead body, he's like, too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna crack a smug joke about him now. I right. guess it's it's possible to be a little too dedicated to you, right? Yeah, yeah. He says over like this decaying right. body. It's like four four people leave to climb Everest. One person comes back and he's like, "Yeah, boy, they're, they're just a tri trio of popsicles now." Right. Uh -huh. And they just, just walk leaves. off like. Right. <laughs> Do you need to talk to someone, or...? <laughs> no. Fuck these guys. <laughs> I mean, even worse is that, like, there's this level of, like, Oh good, you've chipped away this eel head. Now I can use it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to take the artifact that this person died in its feverish obsession to unearth. Okay. This is fine. <laughs> game is somehow more amazing than I remember. <laughs> it fits perfectly. Whoa. Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Now we take it. We have it. It looks really cool. It looks like a gulper Aww. eel, actually. I love it. It's a bronze coil. Yeah, it's great. Give. I want to hear Miles soloing on this. <laughs> you sh maybe you should solo on it. it we'll like record you playing sax over this. Right. Just do some improv. It'd be great. <laughs> all right, all right. We're we're getting into a flow. Yeah. That flow is me remembering the puzzles. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> amenable to this flow. Okay. I mean, I'm still talking. The great thing is that this isn't like a Twitch-based game, so I can talk whenever. It's cool. Fruit basket. Where? Oh no. It's a... Flower? I'm identifying those Maybe? as, yeah, as fruits, but oh. they are not. They are flowers. I think they could be either. Right. You know, but probably that's of more of a pot. Yes, but like, fruits could come out. Like, these could be tomatoes or something. I would like a basket of tomatoes. Yeah, me too. Uh, what, 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 what can one do? Yeah. Mr. Costa? Mr. Costa? <laughs> Indie Dizzy sounds like a fucking car salesman or something. <laughs> well, he's gonna start trading now. M Mr. Costa? He kind of sounds like Hank Hill, maybe. I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. I have no idea about its value. I have no idea about what it can tell us. My, no, I'm just gonna I, give it away to this shady dude. <laughs> I fried it from the fingers of my dead friend. I think so. <laughs> you know what? I feel like 
Indy is showing his true sort of colonialist attitude, yes. right? Yes, he was admonishing um, this woman about like, you have been dealing stolen artifacts. <laughs> and he's doing it now. He like literally just walks up on his dead friend and is like, oh well, <laughs> finally I can trade this. Right. Looks like it's back to the Azores for me. Okay, right, here's big Nazi. Big Nazi on campus. He was on campus. Right. This dildo? Every doctor sucks. <laughs> what is this? A house for ants? No, look in the base. Look, look. Yeah, just, There's an orichalcum bead here, you fucking... Just do a basic inspection of the artifact, please. We like, failed! Like, this fucking Nazi goon general guy could actually look at it for, like, more than one second. See, this guy can play a fucking puzzle game. He's like, look at the object. Notice that you can pick up the bead. Yes, can you put the bead in the mouth? Right. <laughs> this this Nazi has played Hugo's house. Oh hours. yes. He is using his imagination. Oh right, it'd be so evil if, if anyone were to turn this technology into a bomb. I mean, I guess, you know, they've been talking that, sort of, uranium. Yeah, so this has been an ongoing element of this game. So why are you dragging me in here? But I like how that doc Nazi doctor guy was like, use your imagination, think of bombs! And like, the, the other Nazi guy who can solve puzzles is like, well, I can probably construct some kind of crazy, like, Death Star with these random puzzle items. Right. It's just that good. Right. <laughs> ah. He, he's the sort of ubermensch version yeah. of, of adventure game player. Right. Yeah, so, like, he's our rival here. We've got to outthink that dude. <laughs> right. It's, I, I don't like our chances. All right, but here's the. We have to defeat the Fash. Here's the most hilarious. Look at this whole. Look at this. Are we still all our junk here? Oh, what? <laughs> what? So basically, we needed the guy what? in the Azores to tell us what collection it's in, where, and it turns out it's. On our campus. Why? Indy. <laughs> Indy's a, Indy has no. Like, I don't. I think he's a fraud. They're all frauds. <laughs> They're all. Everyone in this game is a fraud so far. Like, literally every please, character. <laughs> please stop telling people that you do archaeology. <laughs> Everybody in this game needs to stop making these claims about what they do in their career. Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Oh no. No thanks, you just get in the way. <laughs> you don't have tenure. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna yeah. I I am the only one who gets to benefit from this research. <laughs> yes. Don't try to just sneak your name onto this paper. <laughs> Indy's such a fucking asshole. Woman don't, is, is... woman don't belong in these storied offices of the 
in ivory tower. If, if it were Midsommar, Indy would be the man in the bear suit. Yes, he would. Hey, look, they're done constructioning. Oh, we could like time is passing. Yeah, it's all those airplane trips he's been doing. There's nothing of importance here. <laughs> <laughs> in my office. I, I never read these books. They all, they're all shit. This library is just for show. It's just to impress people. I don't read. I can't read. <laughs> right. Can, right. Let, let's think about, like, can Indy read? Like, he's not willing to actually read no. this book for us. He just looks at the picture. Yeah. He's like, ooh, beautiful lady. I know her. Why can't I stop looking at her? <laughs> Ah, that's all the books are for. Oh no, it just puts, it just puts these four items in a new light. <laughs> like, I was trying to figure out where this book fit in with the rest of these, and now I know. He's just jerking off. <laughs> this is the whole purpose of this library. Some right. of these books have pictures in them. Right. Some of the pictures have oh, ladies. Pretty <laughs> ladies. <laughs> yes, the, that bookcase fell on you and drove you through the floor <laughs> to another level of the building. Well, okay. Alright, alright, to be fair, okay, here's my new headcanon. He used to know how to do archaeology <laughs> until he <laughs> fell through all these floors. And that's what we're up against now. The massive brain damage that was afflicted at the beginning of this game. Right. He's sitting with a map and a compass. How do these go together? I don't... I feel like this has, like, now come... I now has, like, a Planescape Torment edge, you right. know? Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, initially, he like, he just forgets... He's head of yeah. losing his memory and yeah. needing to do one of these. <laughs> right. This is solving the mystery. <laughs> Oh, check it out. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, can we get that gum? You know that Indy only picks up filth. <laughs> <laughs> he loves grabbing I, the I dirtiest can, <laughs> I can only collect objects that would be ubiquitous in the places to which I'm traveling. <laughs> right. And would not need to be gathered beforehand. I like... I enjoy picking up old jars of an unknown liquid, a greasy, dirty rag, a dirty lump of coal, Bitch. like, <laughs> fucking, like, lamp full of kerosene, and a wad of gum someone stuck uh -huh. on a desk. It's just like <laughs> a bullwhip, an animal <laughs> agriculture product, two different fossil fuel implements. It's quite the collection. It's, it's yeah. like, I think um, Indy definitely picks his nose a lot. That's what I want to say about him. I think I've read them all. You think you've read them okay. all. Okay, all right, so he, he says I, he I, reads. Yeah, I, but he just says it. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. I don't need textbooks. <laughs> What I need is this wad of gum. Yeah. That's what's important here. <laughs> right. There's a, nowhere here where can I, like, research anything. But the gum. The gum. <laughs> this is the key. This is the key, damn it. I don't no. need to. I don't need books about archaeology in order to investigate this archaeological mystery. What I need is you chewing gum. This is it, Brendan. It's the secret to Atlantis. I know it. It's fucking to me. <laughs> right, like he, he's a Nicolas Cage character. Yes. He hits his head, and then after that, he's clearly losing it, and everybody around him is just <laughs> right. acting normal, but he's like... He's like, don't look at I my found, jar. I found this gum. <laughs> it's the secret to Atlantis. Uh, don't, touch, don't touch the mayonnaise jar. It's, it's a clue. And everybody's like, Indy, listen, man, um, do you need, like, to talk to someone? But the great, the amazing thing about this story is, like, he's right in the end. All of these objects he's picking up are the keys to Atlantis. <laughs> right. 
Yeah, and so it's going to have a sort of questionable diegesis at the end, what the, the light from Atlantis and, like, Nicolas Cage stumbling into it <laughs> as Indiana Jones. Even more of an unbuttoned shirt, right? <laughs> right. Um, and we don't know whether it's actually he found it or if it's just the completion of his sort of psychosis. Right, arc. yeah. Okay, I'm into that. Yeah, there's. I'm finding there's a lot of ways to read this strange story we're witnessing. <laughs> Look, it's that place that's actually in the university. It's like all you know, all the just useless crap we don't care about. Right. This like is this, this is the un like there's a like whole this awesome cobra head lady statue. Like if you asked any student <laughs> union in the entire world, like, hey, do you have any use for this entire floor of space? <laughs> I think they'd probably be like, yes. Yes, we do, but but in this university. You don't care about pot shirts. I guess you know it's an old build. It's probably like an yeah. old disused. It is, and yeah. they do have to store their yeah. stuff, right? So like, I don't. Or like these old Essen or UBC buildings that are kind of yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get another Coke, unless you. Unless you I can need steal to drink coke. another Coke. My Coke. Get your own Coke. Maybe I could drink something other than Coke, like water. I enjoy the music on this floor. Mm. Oh, the serpent lord. See, I told you, it's like you're hiding away this. What a great artifact! Oh, you're stolen artifact. These belong in a museum, to quote a certain archaeologist. Right. <laughs> We're using these to educate people. <laughs> in this abandoned, disused space. Right. That no one sees. Right. Which, like, the floors were, like, falling apart here. But we totally care about preserving these artifacts because no one else will preserve them properly. We can't trust <laughs> any. We only I can stick them in this dilapidated shack. Yes, that's basically I don't know the university's investment coffers. This one's a doozy. Oh yeah. I can't move it. I can't move it. Oh, what would you say about this? Marcus thought Popeye's Indians car this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Okay. Oh. Time to use these things we stole. It's from the Shaman collection. Very shaman. Are totem poles a practice outside of the, like, Sailor's Sea area? Oh, that's a great question. And this is potlatch. Sure. In, like, I wonder how accurate at all that is to anything. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Marcus thought potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop. Oh, well, you don't respect it, I so. Push it but right. you could pull it. Ah. The floor isn't slippery enough. Oh. oh. Here's. Are we gonna do something weird? Are we gonna like grease we're up going this to totem grease up pole? The, in in mayonnaise, <laughs> we're literally going to coat this. This, this artifact with mayonnaise. Is it an artifact or is He's it? He's doing fake? it. <laughs> Indeed. This is how we This is how we preserve these artifacts. Very questionable, indeed. <laughs> yes. I can't pull it any further. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Huh? Looks like a movie prop to me. Looks like textiles from the Shaman collection. Alright, now we can walk up to the hole. He's gonna step all over this totem pole. I like this room. Look how beautiful it is. Just like glowing at the edges, you know? I like it. Yeah. 
It's gorgeous. What do you think? What do you think it is then? Do you have theories? Like, are you just gonna shit on Mar Marcus here? Yeah, like. <laughs> and Marcus thinks this is a gargoyle. <laughs> In Malbork, the <laughs> yeah, the um, that sort of statue would maybe denote the presence of a washroom. You could follow oh. the little demon gargoyle oh. to get to the toilet, and the toilet was just a hole. Yes, at the tallest part of the the last like safety chamber, the last reach, uh, the last defensive bastion, and you just poop and it falls to a sort of. Uh -huh. Dirty area below. Oh, gross. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what I'm gonna do with this funeral urn? D deface it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some like. <laughs> God. So this like yeah, Indiana Jones is like the face of like, you know, sort of like British Museum shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. Okay, so Potlatch, is, is, it's just the, the event, like Potlatch, yeah, right? Yeah, like, um, And it is, a, I guess, according to these accounts, specific to the Northwest. Mm -hmm. So it, it would be correct, sort of, that the totem pole is... But I, I think his use of, of a phrase like Potlatch Indians maybe doesn't right. really make any sense in terms of describing an actual... He doesn't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. For some reason, I'm gonna just dip my hands in this funeral urn and oh, find a key. <laughs> really? It's bad. I'm gonna just wipe mayonnaise all over it now. I wish it were a stone now. carving of a Sheba. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> It appears to be some kind of doge. Uh, I, I, I have simple and dated tastes. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that the whole thing about that totem pole is not appropriate. Yes, I mean, it's certainly not appropriate that there's some, I guess, probably some indigenous person's remains in here, and it turns out you can just find a puzzle piece in uh -huh, it. Uh huh, right. Wait, did I get a candlestick? Oh, I just put it away. Okay. Uh oh, you let out the cursed air. Shit. Indy. Didn't you see the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark? Wait, why? Why couldn't he pick up the candlestick again? <laughs> oh my god. It's too fine right where it is. I can't move it. <laughs> right, so now we're seeing some weird effects of a psychosis here. It belongs there. I can't move it. If I move it, bad things will happen. <laughs> wow, how convenient that we found this key in a random urn for this random chest. The chest is empty. What? 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 Strange, okay, it? wait. Was that locked? The chest. It was I locked before. It was, yeah. What? What? I'm Ooh, actually confused too. Uh -huh. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix collection. How? Bizarre. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Oh, what was it? What was it? I feel close. It's a hole to leading to the answer in my brain. Ah, I know now. Oh, it's something in the chest, invisible. You're gonna... Actually, you... You know what? This is all moon logic. Okay. It's true. It's moon logic. 
That's where this poor man is at now. He's been reduced <laughs> to main logic. Keep doing it because these are the yeah, puzzles. I find a way to protect my hands, dude. <laughs> no what? Thankfully, I am. It's unscrewed. My logic is on the moon already. Is that a real? It's unscrewed. Like a real arrowhead, as in like an actual <laughs> artifact from a, a dig site. <laughs> yes. That we're using as a screwdriver in place of going to the, the school's <laughs> shop yes. and getting a screwdriver. We had to use this artifact <laughs> as a screwdriver. Well, Indiana Jones. <laughs> All right, see, so F. Do you but know? I needed to wrap it so I didn't. I didn't want to be uncomfortable well, with my hand. We're following the story of like a deranged man. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was shown when we did the jungle thing, right? Like we went through whipping animals right. and shit when we could have just gone to the road. <laughs> he chased around a poor like. What he described as a jungle rat it yes. must have just been a capybara. Yes. Terrorized this animal, told everybody that he needed to get the anaconda off of the tree. Yes. He's like a very troubled man. He like is in need of demonstrating a certain like performance and masculinity I think. He has to be an independent he has to be an independent thinker. He can't go to other people for answers. He has to fashion primitive tools to Is get he a through. man going his own way? I don't know. In what ways would he be like be like a man going his own way? Well I can't pick that up. His unwillingness I to make use it. of a screwdriver. Yes. That's pretty going your own way, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like, I guess so, yeah. I don't think that was. It's right. literally a purpose built <laughs> item that was made for you to do this, but you're like, no. Alright, so we start off with a guy who, like, gets some, ser some brain damage. He becomes a man going his own <laughs> way, and he's in search of the men who are not men. <laughs> <laughs> it's. yeah. It's fun. Um, is there not something in I here? I believe it's part of the old 